everyone. Today is a balance challenge workout. Balance is so important for all of us. I think one balance for every single bar class you do, but today we're going to be working especially on it. So uh, let's get ready. I am barefoot without a mat, if you notice, because I think it's just so important to really feel the floor on this. I am going to be using a bar, but you can be using a chair, wall, whatever you like. First thing I'd like you to do is find your easy parallel position. Spread your toes wide onto the ground. Lift your heels. Lower heels. That's all we do at the very beginning. Lift. And lower. Good. We're going to continue this tempo and almost feel like your head is rising up to the sky. It is, but we're rising and if you were to stay there as your heels go down. So you feel this sort of two-way stretch throughout. One more time like this and then we're going to bring some attention to something. Good. I want you to look down to my ankles. As I'm rising, I'm trying to stay in the center of my ankles. So what does that mean? I'm going to give you two examples. Either sometimes we roll a little bit in, we don't want that, or we go a little bit on the outside. That's far more common. We're going to try to feel the center of your ball of, balls of the feet and all of your toes on the ground, getting all the way to the top of it. Here's four. Two more times, all the way up. You could always be holding on to something. Last one. All right, now, <sighs> shake that one out. A little bit harder than you thought, isn't it? We're gonna take our feet now into a parallel, closed position. We're gonna make that just a little bit faster. Make your arms in a circle. Lift, lower. Lower. Same principle, trying to stay in the center of your ankles. So not too far out, not too wobbly on the inside. You're going to feel the backs of your legs, your calves, the soles of your feet, all of it. Two and oh one. Very nice. Shake it out. All right. I'd like you to bring one hand to the bar or your pretend bar if you haven't been there before. You're going to take one leg off. Okay, I'm going to do a coupe, a parallel coupe. My toe is just touching the side. I'd like you to do the exact same thing of lowering and lifting your heel. Here we go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Now we're getting that calf workout right there. Four, three, Two. Now we're going to stay up there. Stay up the very top of it. See if you can find that still point where there is nothing happening down there. Then remove your hand. Four, three, two, oh, one. Nice. And shake it out. Remember, it is a challenge. It's going to be hard right there. Think about the evenness of your hips. Find a solid point with your eyes. Let's turn around the other side. All right. Gathering everything. Up and down with that heel. Eight times. We go eight. And seven. And a six. Five. Four. Here's your three. And you're going to keep it up there. All right. Once you've found your still point, again, letting go. Four, three, two, and one. Bring your heel back down. Again, stretching or shaking it out. You could even add that stretch if you want to. It's hard work. Ah. So you feel the backs of the legs. You're feeling the soles of your feet. Do one more the other side. Little stretch. Now, it is a huge challenge to have the heel off of the floor when you're doing that. Now we're going to keep the heel on the floor and work on that balance. You're gonna bring your hands to your hips to see if they feel even, even though you bring up one leg. That is a parallel coupe. So sometimes what happens is we lift one hip up as we're going and see how that hip is jacked up lower it down one level 
All right, so staying right here, find your balance. Again, if you need to, you should be holding onto that bar. And just testing, right? Now I'd like you to draw your knee up higher. That is a parallel passe. So my big toe is touching the inside, but there's not a lot of weight. Not like tree pose in yoga where you're pressing down. Butterfly is there. Butterfly landed on your leg. That light. That's it. Let's go to the other side. First finding it. Sometimes right side, left side feels a little different. Check in the hips. Draw your knee up now. Nice, at home. All right, we're balance. You need a sense of humor. Just laugh it off, try it again. Good. Bring that leg down. Okay. You might want to already have one hand at the bar for this next one because we're going to be going up and down the leg with the same thing. We draw it up, draw it down. So those two positions, we're just moving right through it. So the leg is doing the work. Bring it up. Bring it down. Now I am choosing right now to have my hands on my hips, but you could also bring it in a nice little circle right in front of you and turn to face you. One more time, draw your knee up. See if you can find that as your balance point. Good, bring it back down, excellent. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Maybe start with your hand right there. Up and down. So I'm making contact for now with my toe along the inside seam of my leg. It's helping me find that balance. Sometimes when it's out here in nowhere's land, there's too many things moving at the same time. So this is actually going to help you find your balance a bit better because your midline will be right in this area. When we go outside, more things are moving. You could see that, right? We're gonna lift your knee, find the balance again. So we're on the other side. Four, three, two, and one, and back down. Good. So there is a myth in the the bar world that yoga's, or excuse me, that that the balance has to be very very still. It doesn't have to be still. It has to be receptive. Your feet need to give you information. You might feel a little bit of movement in there. That's okay. That's totally normal. Okay. All right. So we're gonna change our. We're gonna go back to the first leg in that low coupe. Next challenge. Arms are making a circle. And now we're going to move the arms, no leg. Arms, lower, arms, and lower. Good, continue my friends. So everything on this part of my body is still, it's just the arms moving. Sometimes what happens as we're moving arms is that we're going to be disconnected a bit with our center. So our center being this part of the body. Either we're arching or we're just not concentrating on it. Good friends, we're gonna lift it one more time and stay there. All right, now if you're feeling real fancy, I'd like you to turn your head to one side. Turn your head to look at me again. Turn your head to face the other side. Hopefully still on that balance. Turn your head to face me and bring it back down. Whew. All right, we're gonna do that on the other side. Good, finding it. Here we go, raise your arms. Lower. Finding that tempo that works for you. I'm using your breath. What do I mean? Ease, give ease to it. Softness, rigid breath doesn't help you find balance. All right at home, you got this. Two more of these arms. 
raise, raise. Beautiful. Now we're going to lift our arms. Bring them right above your head. All right, turn your head to face one side. Turn, focus your eyes. Turn back to face me. Again, focus your eyes. Turn to face the other way. Look and focus. And right back to the center. And everything comes down. <laughs> nice job, you guys. All right. We're moving on. I know those legs are getting tired. Part of the process. Part of the process. I'm going to go heels together, toes apart. I'm making the V or our first position with my feet. Remember that the feet position is coming from the thighs opening. So this is a movement from your hips, not from your feet. I have my trusty bar behind me. I'm just gonna hold on to it at home. One hand is fine. Start by pointing. That is a coupe. It is turned out. Your toes are just gently grazing the leg as you lift your knee up. And back down. That's it. Now, as this is happening, pay attention to what's happening in your hips. The leg is isolated. The hips stay still. So the hip is not moving with you right there. That's going to be harder to balance. Let's lift our knee and stay right there. It's like a flagpole. This is the strong side. The flag is out towards the side. But maybe you're feeling like one hand can go in front. Maybe the other one. Nice. Four. Three. Light touch there. Two. One. Back to that V. Bring your other foot ready to go. Let's raise and lower. Again, hips. Same. Yes. So if you can just feel the hamstring right there, feeling how the hip is working. That turnout is hard, right? Bring your knee up. Find that still point again. That's with soft breath, focused eyes, head parallel to the floor. When you're ready, one arm. Other arm. And bring it down. All right, we're gonna add another element. <laughs> At any point, you could stop. Remember, you could always stop or revisit this whole video and come back a few more times so you could practice it. Practice makes perfect. Or we're going to come right back to that first side, your passe or your retire. You find the highest point. You're tall in your whole body. This hip feels like it's hugging in. Find your balance. It's arms. No, right? <laughs> Almost there. Let's keep your arms up there. Can you look to one side? Look back to me. Look to the other side. Back to me. And bring it back down. Okay, we're ready. Other side. You're almost there, folks. <sighs> Draw your knee up as high as you can. Both sides of the hips feel like they're hugged in together. The arms. Breathing within. All of the elements stay the same. Soft foot here. Long body. We're going to raise our arms and we'll stay there. Look to one side. 
turn your head back to the center. Look to the other side. Back to the center. And lower your leg and arms. Congratulations, everyone. That was a great start to our balance challenge. That is enough for today. Continuing to practice is what's really going to help you with that. Add one element of that into any bar class or use this as a whole balance practice for yourself. Go to the next video right over here. I'd love for you to work out with me. Subscribe over here. We have weekly workouts for you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.